Hi guys, this is Pestil and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm going to talk about some small things I'd like to see changed in the game that would fix it to make it a lot better, as well as some ideas that I've been uh, having that would be pretty cool I thought if implemented into the game. So, something that uh, really grinds my gear in this game, uh, well there's actually multiple things, but the first one I'm going to talk about is the, um, the multi-screen. So if you have more than one screen and you take your mouse off the screen um, and click on another page, when you go back, you have to press escape and then uh, can resume or go into your inventory and sp spam the screen just to get your mouse to sell inside the, the borderless window. Like, small thing, be nice to get that fixed and uh, that would make the game just that little bit better. On top of that, I think there needs to be a new way to set your loadout before you go into a raid. So either you can preference your, your weapons on how you want to have it set or not, but I want to be able to join the game with the weapon set at full auto, like by default, as well as, uh, for me, it doesn't affect me overly, but I know a lot of people have a problem with it, changing the reticles on your site. So, not having the uh, the right reticle, and so every single raid, you have to keep changing it. So if you bought, say, the MRS site, and you like a particular uh, reticle on it, you should be able to set that. Now, I'm fairly confident they're going to be adding the uh, 30 round VSS Nays Val Mag, um, the, the small fix I would like is to match the 20 round mag with the RSS mag. So, for example, the 20 round mag should take up one slot and the uh, 30 round mag would take up two slots. That's a small one, but I think it'd be a lot more handier, especially, particularly seeing how fast it fires. All right, the next one is spawning in late. You're about to see a perfect example of what I hate about spawning in late into a game. So multiple times, particularly in factory, it's absolutely horrible in factory, you'll spawn late into a game and you'll get killed either instantly or you'll have a massive disadvantage because you don't know where people are. So this guy just spawned late into the game and all of a sudden I've just destroyed him and he's absolutely no chance to defend himself. There needs to be a way that they can tweak this so it just waits a little bit longer, I don't know exactly in the deploying time or whatever, or just pick up the efficiency of loading in, but right now, particularly on factory, it's really brutal. The next one is the insurance screen. I think it needs an absolute overhaul. And what I'm thinking is, you just have one big screen that you go into with insurance, and every item that you have in there has a timer left on it. Simple, but it'll be a lot faster than, like when I play 30 to 40 games of the day, the next day when I log in, I don't want to be like scrolling up for pages and it just lagging out on me as I'm trying to find all my items. And it also makes it a lot easier to find what items are in insurance. So the next one I want to talk about is uh, the wire bug. Um, I'll let you have a look at the video. The scaver or player? Player scav. What? 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 Where are you? I'm dead. So this this needs to be fixed. Um, it's just a funny bug that I, I didn't even know about it. And when I showed a friend the clip, they were like, wow, uh, that's actually happened a fair few times to him. So that would be nice to get fixed. Uh, the next one I'm going to say is not going to be popular with a lot of people that uh, like to level their strength. I think they need to change the map weight from one kilogram. So what people have been doing is they've been leveling their strength by putting two lots of maps inside dust containers. So it's about 33 kilo, including the dust container weight, and leveling up that way. So that's how they've been leveling strength quickly and it doesn't take up much room inside their containers. So what you can see right here also is um, how I just spawned 10 seconds late into a factory. Um, by the time I could get back from my multi screen where I pressed escape, I was already dead. So, that 10 second late spawn is death in many cases. Because I, I, I do the same thing, I charge people in factory, uh, charge the spawn point, and someone just charged me and got me right away. So, uh, so moving on to some new ideas, I'm fairly confident they're bringing in the uh, ASVL slash VSF 30 round mag. Um, hopefully, that comes in very soon that would be great if uh, they add that one of the biggest ideas i've had recently that i'd really love implemented in the game is i know they're going to be doing a karma system for players but i'm thinking a reputation system for scavs with tasks involved so the way that would be working is um, you actually have to start doing tasks for scavs and they're simple tasks like kill five pmcs on shoreline or kill 10 pmcs on wood whatever they are and each time you do one, you get a small amount of rep and your rep uh, is reduced by killing other scavs as playing as a scav, obviously. And then as your reputation increases, you end up getting um, 
better guns when you start the spawn. So this would actually give me a purpose to start playing scavs because right now I don't really feel like playing scavs at all because I'm just not building up like a, a character and it doesn't really make any sense to me to play scavs besides like maybe just me messing about more. So yeah, I think that would uh, influence people to play scavs more and also play more as a team because if they can get more player kills then they'll level up their scavs uh, and their reputation which would give them better guns and then obviously they can escape with those guns and then put it across to their PMC. Okay and lastly the uh, newest thing I would like them to add is is a new hitbox for below the knee. So effectively the way I'd like to have it is if you get shot from below the knee you can't die but what it can introduce is something called mass hemorrhage and effectively you can't bandage it. So this would kind of negate the leg meta and the more people shoot you in the legs You'll, you'll obviously get pain, so the, you know your screen should be going blacker, uh, and it should be harder to fight back. But you can still actually fight back. You can go prone. You can lay there and try and fight yourself out of the situation. But with a like a mass hemorrhage, which would mean you cannot uh, bandage it. So if you're not really close to the exit or legging it straight away with mass meds, you're pretty much dead anyway but it would stop the people just going for the leg meta and getting, getting that easy kill on you because you could actually fight back post getting slaughtered through the through the kneecaps and below, um, which I think would kind of negate the leg meta. I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. I think they're still tweaking to go with the idea, but I really think it's kind of silly to have this whole leg meta where it's just people going in purely aiming for the legs. Um, I already understand that they're going to be adding a new thing called kinetic damage so for example a shotgun shooting you in the head at close range would kill you because the force of the pellets hitting you in the head no matter what arm, helmet or armor you have on would snap your neck that's a good idea um, but making it so people just aim at legs because you know slugs will rip a, you know your legs apart I don't know so anyway let me know what you think uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe and hopefully this patch will be very soon so we can uh, wipe our accounts go again and uh, feel free to pop by and I'll help you out with any tasks you need and I'll see you guys next time